best smartphone under rupees thirty thousand. Now that's a question that a lot of folks ask us, and two of the best choices available in the market right now are the Redmi Note Twelve Pro Plus and the Google Pixel Six A after its discounted price. You know. So, which of these devices should you go for? Should you go for the dated Pixel 6a? I mean, dated in the sense because it launched last year. Or should you go with the latest Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus that comes with all of the new, well, new features? So, without wasting any time, this is Warren from GTR, and you're watching my in-depth comparison of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus with the Google Pixel 6a. Let's get started. All right, so kicking things off, let's start by talking about the design of both the devices. You now the Pixel weighs about 178 grams, while Redmi weighs almost 30 grams more than that. Add to that, the in-hand feel of Redmi is much like the budget devices. It does not feel premium per se. In comparison, Pixel feels super premium and quite compact as well, which definitely makes it very ergonomic too. Adding on to the ergonomics, Redmi comes with flat edges while Pixel comes with a slight curve to it. It's not entirely curved per se, but of course it's definitely curved in comparison to Redmi. See now this is a personal point. A lot of folks actually do prefer flat edges. They find them more comfortable to hold. But I personally am not a fan of flat edges. I mean, I daily drive an iPhone and I still complain about those flat edges to this date. So yeah, it's definitely a personal preference. If you like flat edges, you might find the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus to be a little bit more ergonomic. As for me, Pixel is definitely far more ergonomic. Of course, it's a compact device, smaller, lightweight. Just everything falls right into place. Also, adding on to the overall experience, the haptic feedback on Redmi is, again, much like their budget devices, while on the Pixel, the haptic engine is very, very refined and it almost feels like a flagship device. That being said, Redmi definitely has a lot of things in its favor. For starters, it also comes with an IR blaster coupled with a 3.5 headphone jack. What's more is that you also get face unlock here, which is for some reason still missing in the Google Pixel 6a. Adding on to that, the Redmi device comes with IP53 rating with Gorilla Glass 5 protection, while the Google Pixel 6a only comes with Gorilla Glass 3 display protection and that's it. So yeah, basically you get a more ergonomic and more comfortable device in the form of the Pixel 6a, or you get a more sturdy, a bigger device in the form of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. Now, of course, that big size also translates to a big difference in terms of their displays. So let's talk about the display technologies. So the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus comes with a 6.67 inch AMOLED 120Hz display with HDR10 Plus certification along with Dolby Vision support as well. The Pixel 6a on the other hand comes with a smaller 6.1 inch OLED panel with just 60Hz of refresh rate and HDR certification. Now talking more about that, both the devices support HDR inside Netflix, but like I said, Redmi also comes with support for Dolby Vision. See, as far as the display department is concerned, they're both nice displays to use, very crisp, very vibrant, and quite nice to use under direct sunlight as well. Of course, Redmi's display is much better because you get a better brightness overall. Add to that, you get a higher refresh rate, basically double the refresh rate. So there's that as well. As for the audio experience, you do get stereo speakers on both, but there's a noticeable crispness on Pixel. That being said, Redmi speaker is definitely a bit more louder, so that's good. Alright, so moving along, let's talk about the cameras. Now, reading of the spec sheet, Redmi comes with a 200 MP OIS primary sensor, coupled with an 8 MP ultra wide sensor and a pretty pointless 2 MP macro sensor. Up front, you get a 16 MP selfie shooter. Also, one thing to highlight here is that the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus also features ALD, which is atomic layer deposition, which is basically an ultra low reflection coating that helps reduce reflections, glares, and optimizes complex lighting scenarios. Too much of technical jargon to basically say that it should perform better to compete and eliminate lens flares. Although we've already done a camera comparison of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus with the iPhone 14 Pro, which you should definitely check out by clicking on the card here. And there are some interesting results about the camera lens flare. But anyway, let's see how the camera flares up against the Pixel 6a. The Pixel 6a comes with a 12.2 MP OIS primary sensor coupled with a 12 MP ultra wide sensor. And up front, you have the 8 MP selfie sensor. Now for daylight shots, both the phones are very close in their processing since both the phones tend to add a bit more contrast. 
Now one thing to note is that you get better color accuracy on Redmi as opposed to Pixel. That being said, despite having a bigger sensor, the Redmi falls behind the Pixel in terms of observed details. Now what I mean by that is on first glance, you would find Pixel's shot more detailed, but actually that's just having better structure. Redmi still has the pure details in its favor if you zoom into the image. Now moving on to HDR shots, Redmi handles shadows slightly better. However, Pixel has more refinement in its treatment. Plus, there's no lens flare here either. Add to that, Pixel also has a better structure. But then again, Redmi manages to retain original colors, while Pixel does boost the contrast a bit more. Moving on to human shots, that's where Pixel has a very good advantage. See, Redmi's image is a whole lot brighter, but also looks washed out. Pixel's image is far more accurate, especially around skin tones. But as we have seen is the case with the Google Pixel, it just keeps on adding more structure. Moving on to portrait shots, bokeh is good on both and edge detection is also at par. Then we have the selfies, which are just way better on Pixel. Better skin tones, good HDR and nice detailing. Speaking of detailing, Redmi's shot here just looks way too over sharpened. That being said, when we switch over to the portrait shots, surprisingly, the edge detection for the portrait mode is better on Redmi. But even so, as an overall shot, I think I would still slide with the Google Pixel here. Now moving on to low light shots, Redmi has more illumination here, but Pixel has a really crisp night mode shot with very low noise. Now both the phones have over sharpened shots in their dedicated night modes, but just because Redmi has more illumination overall, you can fine tune and edit the image later on if so desired. That being said, if you just want to post the shots as it is, Pixel does the job better. Moving on to videos, the max resolution supported on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is 4K 30fps, while the Pixel does support 4K 60fps recording. Also, on paper, both the devices come with support for OIS in their primary sensors. However, in reality, well, let's just take a look. All right, I'm recording 4K 30fps footage from the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus on my left and the Pixel 6a, which is on my right. Right off the bat, I'd like to highlight the Pixel 6a's footage is a lot more stable. And keep in mind, this is 4K video recording, not 1080p. And of course, that gives you a very good idea of the kind of stabilization. That being said, as you can see right now in this video itself, I'm just gonna stop here uh, just to showcase that Pixel's frame is a lot more cropped in because of course this is a hybrid stabilization so of course the frame will be a little bit more cropped in to give you more stabilization but that being said I think I would still pick Pixel's footage here here's the idea of the HDR um, decent on both I would say nothing great but yeah all right so we're recording 10 v 30 fps footage from the redmi note 12 pro plus which is on my left and the pixel 6a which is on my right side um clearly while they're both almost at the same level of crop uh pixel's footage is a lot more natural sorry my hair has just been messed up very badly by the wind but yeah um one thing that i would still like to highlight is that pixel's footage does not seem as sharp as redmi's so I think Redmi still has a case for itself. But other than that, in terms of HDR, in terms of color accuracy, everything, Pixel is doing a much better job. Okay, so that was a camera department. Now let's talk about the performance. The Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus comes with the latest MediaTek Dimensity 1080 processor coupled with UFS 2.2 storage. The Google Pixel kicks it up a notch by offering you the Google Tensor processor with UFS 3.1 storage. Now the benchmarks are on your screen and when it comes to pure performance, the Pixel does a better job. That being said, when it comes to sustained performance, as you can see in the CPU throttling screen, it's the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus that performs better. Also, as far as gaming is concerned, it's good on both. See, technically, Pixel does support Mac settings, but also heats a bit faster. So yeah, at the end of the day, the gaming experience on both the devices is, well, pretty much the same. Neither of them is a gaming device. I mean, if you're looking for a gaming-centric device, neither of these is the right option for you. With that being said, as far as day-to-day -day usage is concerned, it's absolutely great on both the devices. Redmi has a slight edge here, which is in terms of the RAM management, which is still a bit of a con on the Pixel 6a, which I did highlight in my Pixel 6a long-term review, which you can check out from here. Also, of course, aiding the performance segment is the software experience on both. And of course, you know where this is going. The software department is one of the biggest strengths of the Google Pixel 6a. See, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus comes with MIUI 13 based on, surprisingly, still on Android 12, while the Google Pixel 6a comes with stock Android 13. There's minimal bloatware on the Redmi, but there's zero bloatware on the Google Pixel 6a. Now, in terms of stability, both are stable on normal use, 
But as far as the update schedule is concerned, Pixel is just miles ahead thanks to day one updates and multiple years of software updates as well. Lastly, we have the battery. Now the Pixel comes with a 4410mAh battery with support for 18W charging but of course you have to buy the charger separately. On the other hand, we have the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus which comes with a bigger 5000mAh battery with support for way faster 120W fast charging and the charger is also included in the box. I mean, if software was the biggest strength of the Pixel 6a, then the battery and charging department is the biggest strength of Redmi in comparison to the Pixel 6a. Much better battery life thanks to the optimization that MIUI also offers, way too fast charging and the charger is included in the box. I mean, Redmi wins this round easily. Which brings us to the pricing. Now the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is priced at Rs 30,000 for the 8 plus 256GB variant, while the 12 plus 256GB variant is priced at Rs 33,000. That being said, there are combined offers of up to Rs 6,000, bringing the starting price down to just 24,000. In comparison, the Google Pixel 6a comes in a single variant of 6GB RAM and 128GB ROM, which retails for about 30,000. I mean, the price keeps varying from time to time, but essentially, I'll just consider the price to be 30,000. See, if you factor in the discounts, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is a no-brainer. I mean, the value for money quotient on this device is just phenomenal. But that's with the discounts. Now, I don't know till when those discounts are going to last. So let's just compare both the devices at their MRPs, which is a starting price of Rs 30,000. So let's assume both the devices are available for 30,000, which is the better pick in that context. See, even at 30,000, Redmi still has a lot going for it. You get a better display, better connectivity, better battery life with way faster charging, plus you get the charger in the box and better sustained performance as well. However, if you saw our Pixel 6a long-term review, you would know that like the Pixel series has never been for like competing for specs. It's never been a spec fight when it comes to Pixel devices. It's always about the experience. The comfort of the design, the ergonomics, the haptics, the smoothness of clean Android, no bloatware, timely updates, and refined camera performance still puts Pixel a worthy competitor. So yeah, at the end of the day, if you care about the experience and that's it, then the Pixel 6 still makes a valid case for itself. For everything else, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus still has the upper hand. Well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vam from GTR and I'll see you in the next one.